when I was jangling. So I've just taken off my jewellery, but you might have heard a bit of jangling. And that was Marina, who was sitting in front of me now. I was suddenly aware that you were clanking with your jewellery. I had my pendant on the wrong way. I could bear to do the interview with it backwards. Oh, a bit of OCD going on there? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Yeah, but you're a little bit sickly. Yeah, it's a little bit. Everyone is, I think. Yeah, I know. So many people going down with illnesses. I know. Your Joe's coming your way. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> fine. So if you could just not touch me or breathe in my direction, please, because uh, take your germs away with you. But yeah. thank you for doing this. Great to have you on the show and doing this live lounge for us. Tell us about your outfit that you're wearing, because people were guessing what you were going to be wearing. Um, it's by Ashish. He's my favorite. Ashish. Oh yeah. Yeah. Big on sequins. Yeah, he's big on sequins. So big that he's done a pair of pajamas in um sequin. <laughs> So, but they're street pajamas, he told me. So okay. I, were they done especially for you or it's something that you no, just No, they weren't. They weren't. But um, I, I love them. I just, I feel like I'm in my pajamas, but I'm allowed to walk around the streets. So It looks really, really super comfortable. And obviously you've yeah. got a lime green kind of vest. Is that American Apparel? That no, kind this, of, is, oh. this is vintage Mary Quant that I got on eBay. <gasps> Wow, yeah. that's very good. Yeah. So fashion's always been your thing. Because we met, last time I saw you was Glastonbury and it was baking hot. Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Absolutely baking hot. And we were we discovered this amazing stall yeah. where you could get made up and you could have your hair done if yeah. you were kind of really feeling particularly skunky. Um, and we talked a bit about fashion and, and kind of makeup and that's an image sort mm. of stuff. Um, but just to recap, is it something you have always been fairly obsessed with? No, I mean, I have days where I look like total rubbish. You know, okay, descri I, I, describe your, your ultimate casual day off Oh, you outfit. don't even want to know. No, I it's, do. Okay, it's, um, it's a Bart Simpson jumper, a Redskins one that I got off my ex, which is chopped up and it's got bleach on it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, some quite nice, like, cashmere uh, jogging bottoms. Mm -hmm. So that's... That's a good look. Yeah, but I mean... it's comfort clothing. I know, I, I really like Image, but I'm not someone who's so concerned that I have to be like it every day. And whose images are you admiring at the moment? Who do you particularly oh, love? Um, actually, I've always loved Shirley Manson. Oh, she is so... Well, she's one Isn't of the she most the super cool girl? people. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. As a person and then kind of the image as well. Exactly. Just yeah. all around's cool. Um, I like Robin, uh, Gwen Stefani. I don't know. Fas fashion's, from you know a historical and cultural point of view, is really interesting because it tells you a lot about what goes on mm. in that year or decade, whatever. But. And all those people that you were just talking about are all people who dress themselves rather than are dressed by other exactly, people. Exactly, Joe. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I don't, this is the thing, I don't like it when people are like really uh, styled up, like it looks like someone just had a stylist plonked on them. Mm. I think you should kind of see what you, you like yourself. And um. So when you travel, <laughs> when, when you're doing some kind of, you know, you're heading off to America, New York, supposed to York, which is where you're going yeah. to today. <laughs> um, what's it like when you pack your case? Do, do you have a nightmare? It, and do you, how many traumatic. bags? Is it a bit Elton John-like? It's terrible. You know what, I end up um, just buying stuff on the road because it'll never fit. You know, if you go away for a month, you just get the biggest suitcase you can buy and stuff it. It's, ter it's terrible. So you just take the biggest suitcase you can buy, but don't put anything in it and just kind of fill it as you go around on tour? Kind of. Or like, you start to get really bad. Because I, I buy a lot of vintage, so it's quite cheap. So I start like chucking stuff away <laughs> on the way because you don't want it to load you down. Everything I buy is like five quid. And then lovely design is like a sheesh loan to me, so... <laughs> oh, so it has to go back? You don't even get to yeah, keep that? Yeah, no, I don't. I hardly have any clothes. I just borrow a lot of stuff. That's, that's very that's very clever. Mm. I quite like to stay in the hotel rooms after you've stayed in them and just kind of go around looking under the bed to see what you've left behind. <laughs> it's like, oh, look at this. <laughs> and she should be going, can I have my, my uh, pyjamas back, please? Yeah, Marina, that cost one grand. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, you're going to be in the live lounge. I'm going to come talk to you in just a little bit more and then we'll get to hear you sing as well. Okay. Uh, the voice will be all right, will it? Yeah, it's fine. We're hoping. I Actually, hope so. I, I heard a sneak preview when you were warbling away and it sounded fantastic. <laughs> so, and uh, you've got a, a special cover lined up for us too. I have. Mm -hmm. We're now here with Marina and the Diamonds. Sorry, I was expecting some dramatic stab or something like that that was oh, going to happen I there. Was but really Marina, disappointed that nothing happened. <laughs> I built that up so much, didn't I? <laughs> For listeners, Joe kind of did a fist pump and nothing <laughs> happened. <laughs> oh, no, it was a, it was a bit of rage going on there. <laughs> anyway, Marina, we've established is uh, is okay. Uh, who have you got here with you at the moment? I have John Schoen, my lovely um, keyboardist. Very nice. Yeah. And we were just talking about that track that I just played, the James Blake track. It's amazing. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, very, very good. It's very good. Yeah. Uh, the Kanye West is a big fan of yours. Yeah. And how does that feel when you have someone like him kind of uh, talking you up? Um, uh, it's, it's very nice. But the um, thing is with Kanye, he's like, it kind of doesn't surprise me because he's so involved in the arts world. I went to um, his screening the other week and he's just... You know, he is what you think he is, basically. And this is a runway. Yeah. Is that, yeah. Yeah. 
but it was, it's very flattering, very flattering indeed. Yeah, and that's something you're kind of really passionate about as well. Filmmaking videos, when it, when it comes to videos, you're yes. kind of quite hands-on. Yes, okay. I am. I always have a vision for each video and um, uh, I just work with directors who will give me total control. <laughs> I'm getting a picture here of control. That, that's the word that's kind of coming through today. Do you know what? The other day, I almost felt sick because I knew I had my sock on inside out all day. No. I, I couldn't. <laughs> it made me feel ill. I've kept thinking about it and I just didn't have a chance. You know, when you're with people, yeah. you can't take your boot off and then take your sock off, you know. But the fact that your sock was the wrong way, okay, right, disturbed me Ooh, quite God, a lot. actually what's, makes me feel sick now. What's your house like? Your 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 bedroom? Um, It's, yeah, it's fairly neat. It's not like super super neat but. Marina are you sure <laughs> it's super neat isn't it everything has its place how do you store your shoes and your clothes um, not as the people on Sex and the City do really not in boxes oh, and they're kind of just on... all kind of shoved in and then expensive ones are in the cloth bags ok Kelly from Block Party when he did the live lounge he, he everything is colour coordinated or colour coded the way it's all kind of stored in his wardrobe really mm -hmm. yeah you might want to take a leaf out of his book yeah, yeah. probably <laughs> <laughs> right you're going to play for us now you're going to do the single yes it's okay. called Champagne alright there are so many people listening at the moment so many of your fans they've all been going crazy on the text and the email so oh, hello. they're all out there looking forward to listening to this so this is Marina and the Diamonds in the live lounge delighted to have them on the show and uh, this is Champagne Whoa. God proper tingles that's so surreal watching you and having that voice coming out it's amazing is it more surreal that I'm wearing pyjamas <laughs> it's the whole package is quite surreal <laughs> I nearly leapt in about three times then because I thought you'd finish and I was like oh no no don't interrupt oh no don't interrupt uh, that was Marina and the Diamonds that was fantastic that was Champagne um, Amy in Liverpool there are no words Marina is fantastic I love her amazing um, that's a lot of words there Amy in Liverpool uh, Tim in Manchester amazing it sounds like the vampire song at the end of Forgetting Sarah Marshall and that's a good thing really okay I'm going to have to look that up now <laughs> we're all looking around going really um, oh, that was a real privilege to see right uh, I'll give you a break you can get your act together get yourselves together uh, and we'll play this we'll come back for more music from Marina and Diamonds after this the Live Lounge indeed the Live Lounge is up and running at the moment it's just approaching 2 o'clock um, we have Marina and Diamonds in the Live Lounge on a Saturday afternoon which is a really great way to spend an afternoon um, by the way Chris Martin big fan of yours oh is he? So, yeah said so you're fantastic Oh, that's lovely. Right. Oh my God, I've got massive head right now. <laughs> what a legend. Hi, Chris. Love okay, you. <laughs> inevitably, it will be listening right now. Um, you're off to York, as we were talking about um, a little bit later on. And then the tour kicks off, which is called... Uh, it's called the Burger Queen Tour. Okay, how come? Um, because the burger is the trusty symbol of... Um, everything wrong with the western world <laughs> and that's so what my album's about oh right okay yeah so not inspired by a love of fast food or anything no like that or obesity just... unfortunately even though it could be sometimes <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's 34 dates um across the uk and europe and i get to live on a bus with 11 boys how is that with, with your ocd that you've got it's, going on do you know what? it's not too bad but do you know what I'm going to put a terrible image in people's minds, but the toilet, mm. um, I have to crouch <laughs> <laughs> because I keep thinking with my OCDs, there's like 11 samples of urine on the seat and I can't possibly <laughs> touch it. And so just imagine on a You're swaying bus, I'm literally, there's this tiny loo and it's like sometimes the, the, the water from the loo comes back up. <laughs> it's terrible show. Uh, Obviously, the boys don't don't care. They don't have the problem. Don't, so. You no. need like sticky fingers so like, you could be like Spider Man. You could kind of stick to the sides it's and then. Like that. <laughs> oh, there you go. Marina and Diamond's fans now going. Ooh. <laughs> and so, uh, when they come and see you live, what kind of thing can they expect? What's the show it's, like? Um, it's like a dark Hollywood tale. It's very theatrical. Um, uh, I've got like full costume changes, wonderful props. It's it's the first time that my tour is an actual production and people who know me know that I have lusted for that from the beginning. Yeah, so, so this is kind of a point that you wanted to reach. Obviously, you, you want to go above and beyond this, but at last yeah. you've got money, you've got people can, you can have ideas and people can make them happen. Absolutely. You know, London, I think we, we've sold like 6,000 tickets, which is amazing for someone who people didn't really expect to be a commercial act so I'm really proud and happy okay yeah. uh, if you do get any time off are you do you watch Saturday Night TV because obviously people aren't going out at the moment because they're just sitting in and watching X Factor or Strictly Come Dancing yeah. or something like that do you do that um no I didn't do you object do that to last those night or I won't tonight well I'm never home on a Saturday night <laughs> but I don't I don't object to it I just I think you just need to get into X Factor and I haven't do you watch um, it? I, I've kind of thrown myself into it okay. at the moment. So um, 
So I yeah, no. Know. So tonight, I don't know. I've got a night off tonight, so I'm going to be home alone with. I've got a date with my two little boys, and we're just going to sit on the sofa, and that is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to eat and watch telly. So, <sighs> but anyway, you're gigging tonight. Tell us, um, you discovered. Don't tell me what you've chosen to do, okay. but tell me why you've chosen this particular song. What it is about it? Um, it's not really my kind of thing, which is oh. great tick box. But I, I like I genre stylistically. It's not my kind of thing, but I just. I absolutely love the song and the artist. I um, think they have a wonderful voice. So here's me absolutely ripping it apart. <laughs> <laughs> very exciting. Right, it's Marina and the Diamonds in the Live Lounge. That was really rather very special. That was Marina and the Diamonds doing Magnetic Man. Um, I've never seen the keyboards play so delicately. It was like heart-stopping stuff then. It was really <laughs> beautiful and such an amazing voice. Thank you very much indeed for doing Thank that. Thank you, pleasure. Uh, you know, Things like this just make me absolutely love my job and value it very much indeed. It was a real uh, joy. Enjoy yourself on the tour and uh, to all the people who are listening right now, you're in for a real treat. You, maybe you could do that when you're on tour. Maybe you could kind of slip that into the uh, set list. What do you think? God, I think you should do it. You should so do it. Okay. Totally. Maybe. <laughs> Let me just uh, read out some of the texts that have come through. Tommy Lincoln, Goosebumps, Marina, love you. Uh, Emmy, Emily, I think it is, in Essex. A lot of people want you to get on Twitter. I don't know whether you've been doing that recently, but they kind of need you to get back on there. Um, Erin. I am on there. Oh, are you there all the time? Okay. Marina Simons. Okay. Uh, Erin in Van, uh, Vanborough College. Really looking forward to seeing you at York University tonight. Um, OMG, Marina, you're amazing. Love you. I was nervous for your voice, but you've nailed it perfect as usual. Aww. That's James in Seven Oaks. Uh, just text after text after text. So many people love that. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. Uh, in your heart, what is the future? Where where does your future lie? What's going to happen for you? Sorry, but all I can think about is Chris Martin. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be very happy you said that. <laughs> Okay, your future lies with him. <laughs> Marina, thank you very much indeed. It's been thank great you. having you on the show. Thank you.